Let's talk today about data products. Uh, there's a lot of focus these days in our industry around the idea of data as a product, data product management, data product owners, and the lines are kind of blurry. <laughs> and I think uh, at a high level, I'm excited about data product, da data product own I should slow down, lots of coffee this morning. I am excited about the application of product management as a discipline into the world of data management. I'm, I'm excited about that. I believe it or not, I'm an ex chief product officer. Uh, I was a, a, a VP of product management at, at a software startup. I was a VP of product management at a relatively large company. I've hired, retained, developed teams of product managers. I'm kind of a product person at heart. I've been in the data and analytics world a long time now. But my kind of core DNA uh, as a young whippersnapper growing up through corporate America was on the product side. So I've got a soft spot in my heart for product management. And I think it could do great, great things in the data management space. But as with all new things in the data and analytics space, particularly our world, man, we like to make big things and complicate things and use new words when old words will suffice. Separate topic. I'll talk about that in another data uh, on another MDM Bytes, uh, something I call the semantic pedanticism feedback loop. <laughs> it's a lot of words. <laughs> There's an irony there to use a lot of words to describe the phenomenon how we of how we like to create new words when old ones will suffice. But anyway, a lot of hype around data product management, a lot of hype around data product ownership, a lot of hype around data products. So first and foremost, what's a data product? Uh, if you were to look on LinkedIn around a data product, you'd see a lot of information. Data people like to break things into like just the smallest atomic little bits, and we like to kind of put things into me mechanistic lenses that that make data look like a machine and make it look like things that we can understand and break things into pieces and 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 apply these kind of complex models to the idea of what's a data product and is it this level is it a field or is it a, is it an attribute or is it a domain or is it a report or is it an API or blah, blah, blah. the answer here is really simple to a question of what's a data product. A data product is any bit of data, field, attribute, domain, report, API, master data, domain, what, insight, model, anything that is managed, per, created, uh, owned, we're going to talk about that a little bit more, in the data analytics world that can be used to solve a customer problem. A data product is anything that can be used, any element of data, any attribute, any field, any report, anything in the data world that can be used to solve a specific customer problem. That's the answer to the question. And it's simple. Data products are things that solve customer problems, no more, no less. That means a data product could be an individual field of data. That means it could be a data domain. It means it could be a report. It could be an API. It could be a model. It could be an interface. It could be a data marketplace. It could be a database even. If those things solve a specific customer problem, then, it's a, then it could be made a data product. All right, we're clear. That's what a data product is. Let's put that aside. Part of the problem... Uh, I see evolving here is murkiness, lack of clarity between data products and data owners. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of the, the phrase owner, by the way. Do a search on MDM Bytes for who owns data, uh, and, and you'll get my perspective on that. Um, but I'm not a big big fan of that. But 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 for now, let's let's use the phrase of data owners, right? Owners could largely be grouped into, into two things. Uh, owners who, who own data policy and owners who enforce data policies, governance policies, creation management of governance policies, and enforcement of governance policies. Those together, those, those the lump there <laughs> is, is, is data ownership. But what I see, which is a little bit troubling and concerning, and one of the reasons why I'm, I'm recording this today, is that data and analytics leaders are getting excited about data product management, and they're conflating these, these ideas of data product management and data ownership and making them one and the same. 
They're not. They are not one and the same. The reason why they are not one and the same is because product management is a specific skill. Product managers are inherently creative problem solvers who are passionate about understanding how problems get solved. They're passionate about defining product roadmaps and defining product strategies and defining product requirements. These skills are what make product managers product managers. It what, it's what makes product management a unique thing that you, that you can recruit for and you can go find those people, right? Product ownership, data ownership, I should say, is not product ownership. It's not product management. It's something completely different. It's a definition of data, data governance policies. It's the enforcement of data governance policies. It's data stewardship. And maybe it's not even one person. Generally, it's a lot of people. You're talking about, for instance, maybe customer data. It's people in sales, people in marketing, finance, accounting, legal. All sorts of people are involved in the ownership of that data, right? So separate skills, separate competencies, separate outputs, data owners, product managers. Now, can these things be commingled? I would say they shouldn't be, but they are. And this is what I see, and this is one of the reasons why I'm having this conversation today, is that if you are serious about becoming more product management driven, if you're serious about data as a product, if you're serious about leveraging all the great things that product managers do, do to help become more data driven, I would argue you absolutely positively need to separate data ownership versus data product management. A great metaphor here is to think about this through the lens of like a supply chain, right? Maybe let's pick a metaphor of, of jeans, right? <laughs> I'm wearing some jeans right now, right? The product manager for that pair of jeans is reliant on a supplier of zippers, of rivets, of denim, maybe even dyes thread, all sorts of things. They don't own any of that stuff. They don't own the procurement of zippers. They, do, they don't own the manufacture of zippers or of denim or of dyes or of any of those things. Those are owned by other people. The product management is dependent on that, right? And if the quality of those raw materials are low, then the product is going to suffer. And the product manager will go to that, to that zipper maker and say, hey man, your zippers are, 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 are horrible and they're not even meeting my needs. Right. So so product owners or product managers, I should say, versus data owners, think of it as a kind of a, a supplier, uh, kind of a supplier type relationship where the data owners are supplying the raw materials for the products. Right. Again, I would argue these are two separate skills should be kept separate. Data owners should be in the business of defining, executing, managing, enforcing data governance policies right? Data product managers should be in the business of meeting customer needs, of defining product life cycles, of defining product strategies, working with those product owners to make sure the data is consistent and accurate and high quality and trustworthy and all those things that you need, that you would need as a product manager to make a high quality product. But that doesn't mean that product managers are now all of a sudden data stewards. They shouldn't be. And if you want to go hire and retain professional product managers, Asking them to be data stewards will not end in good things for you, <laughs> right? Because high quality, knowledgeable, expert product managers, that's a totally different skill than people who know data governance. Yes, product managers are going to need to know a little bit about those worlds and learn a little bit about governance policies, learn a little bit about data stewardship. Two separate worlds. So let's wrap up. Data products, we don't need to go into too much detail here. Data products are the things that solve for specific customer problems, right? There's a difference between a product manager or product owner and a data owner. And I would argue that these things should not be the same role, should not be the same person. All right, guys. I hope you've got some benefit out of today's episode of MDM Bytes. I look forward to sharing some more insights on another episode of MDM Bytes sometime soon. Thanks, guys.